Okay, here we have a pretty interesting SAT algebra question. We are given that 3x minus y is equal to 12, and we are going to find out a to the x over 2 to the y. And you might be wondering, do we really have enough information? Because usually, shouldn't we be given two equations with two unknowns in order to solve both x and y? Well, not the case in this time, because we are just trying to get this expression. We are not trying to get what x is or what y is. So the key to do this is to use the rule of exponents. Check this out. 8 and 2. For the 8, it's actually a power of 2. We can look at the 8 as 2 to the third power, 2 times 2 times 2. So this right here is just going to be 2 to the third power, and then raise that to the x power, and then over 2 to the y power. And having the same base is the key for this question. And you see right here, we have 2 to the third power, and then 2 to the 3 power and then to the x power, we can just multiply the exponents, this and that, so we get 2 to the 3x power and then divide it by 2 to the y power. And now, they have the same base, what do we do with the exponents? We subtract, yeah, so this right here becomes 2 and then we will just have 3x minus y, okay. But do we know what 3x minus y is? Yes, we do. It's right here, namely 12. So the answer is just 2 to the 12th power. And this is actually one of the answer choices. You can leave the answer like that. Or if you would like, you can try to multiply the out, like 2 times 2 times 2 and so on, so on, so on. Or just use a calculator. Depends. So remember your rule of exponents is really tricky sometimes. And hopefully this right here gives you a, a good practice. That's it.